Hi everybody, uh, this is Ed. Welcome back to the channel, Thailand Dreaming. Love letters from retirement. Today, I'm just going to take everybody on a little journey around the outskirts of Cha'am and uh, see what's going on out in the mountains and uh, a few other places, a place called Puk Tien. Have a look at what's happening there. So it was okay when I left home, but as you can see now, it's absolutely pissing down rain. So it's not a good start, but I'm gonna continue anyway because uh, I just wanna shoot some video and get something out for everybody to have a look around and see what other things there are here besides all the tourist traps. So I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and please leave a comment. I wanna know what you people want to see. I want to know what you guys would like me to shoot for you. Okay, enjoy the video. Let's get going. It's cleared up a little bit now and um, I'm going to head up to a place called Puk Tien to have a look at this big ogre statue and find an explanation for it. Someone before told me that it was related in some way to the story of Nang Pantoran but apparently it's not at all so let's go and check this out out there now. I've been out here a few times to uh, Puk Tien and there is never anybody here. It's always completely empty. It just astounds me. There's so many empty hotels and half-built hotels. That one I just passed is empty. I've never seen anyone there. And this is a Thai long weekend. So really, it should have a lot of people in there, but there's no one. Fantastic place here.
Yes, so just as I expected, when I got back to Ta'am, the traffic was absolutely brutal. Uh, the place is just packed with people, absolutely packed. But uh, being on the bike makes it a little bit easier anyway. So I was going to end this video here, but I've got some stuff I want to add in about um, Rob and B's move. Now I know a lot of the people that watch my channel and a lot of the YouTubers uh, who I watch and who are subscribed to my channel know Rob and B very well. Rob and B are very wonderful people. They've been an immense help to me since I've moved here and uh, they've recently been completely and totally shafted by an ass hat they were renting a house off. So uh, I'll throw some video in of that and uh, relay a little bit of the story of course second hand but uh, directly from Rob to me. Okay so here I am this morning at Rob and B's place they're moving out Apparently the uh, gentleman's agreement wasn't gentlemanly enough for the landlord and uh, he shafted them big time and they've uh, had to have a couple of days just to organise everything and move into their uh, new house that's not yet complete so not very nice. We shall see how it goes, they've got the removalists here now so I'm going to shoot a little bit of the removalists and uh, see how they go with that. So This is not a bad place that they rented quite nice but uh, yeah not a very pleasant situation so we've done a couple of loads already this morning I think Rob's done about six since four o'clock this morning so yeah okay let's have a look at what's going on so a little bit of a story here um, I know that uh, Rob and B had set up the uh, purchase of this house for the uh, landlord a foreigner and um, had a gentleman's agreement that uh, Rob and B would rent the place off them at quite a lucrative rent for this guy and uh, until uh, there was a set date I just don't recall what it was but it was quite a while ways uh, on from when they've actually moved and uh, it was to be at the uh, time their new house was completed to a stage that they could move in. Now, not an easy move, they spent uh, many days working really really hard to organise all this and they had to organise the movers. Uh, I think on this particular morning Rob started about four o'clock in the morning and did about six to eight loads before this truck even came here, before I came here with my truck. and. Um, so a really big move and uh, an unpleasant one to some degree because uh, Rob sort of really trusted this guy and, and the ass had just completely shafted him and demand that he moved out on a cert by a certain date uh, which was difficult for Rob and B because their place wasn't yet ready and they had all the stuff that they were using for living at this rental place plus a full container of stuff, fortunately, that was still packed. Uh, and uh, so, hence had to move, with almost no notice, into a house that was completely in unfinished. And so they had to organise the builders to get workers to finish at least one bedroom and a bathroom for them in the house, so that they could actually live there. So anyway, on we went with the move, and uh, if anyone wants to know a good removalist, don't forget I'll put the link to their Facebook page and their phone number uh, in the description under the video. And uh, so, let's have a look uh, how it transpired, and uh, then we'll have a look at Rob's place after we got there and started unloading. Yeah, so there was uh, one suggestion from the landlord, this guy that Rob previously trusted very much, that they even do uh, a move into a temporary property. Can you imagine moving all this stuff, moving out, moving all this stuff twice in a matter of one month or six weeks or whatever it was uh, to the due date before Rob was uh, about to move into his house? I mean, really, really a disgusting shaft, a disgusting shaft. You know who you are, and uh, 
a lot of other people know now as well. So yeah, be careful, get it in writing. You know, you can get shafted in uh, overseas places when you're an expat, but the most dangerous people you've got to look out for are usually other expats, other foreigners. So yeah, there you go, not very nice. So what do you come? Yes, so, pretty big removalist truck. How many guys? Konarai. Looks like there's only two of them. Yeah, so, they look fairly professional, these guys. That'll be their phone number, so if Rob gives them the thumbs up at the end of it all, well, uh, I'll put that uh, on the uh, description of the uh, video. They travel all around Thailand too. And they do all of Thailand, according to Rob. So, yeah. Say hi, Rob. <laughs> yeah. This is the house that Robert and Boo were renting. Obviously, the gardener wasn't showing up for work. Me? Hey. Say hi. <laughs> the big one. Busy, 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 moving, oh, moving, yeah. moving. Oh, last time. This is your last move, boo. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so here we are at Rob's new place. Unloading the truck. It's half done now. So, getting there. Rob's looking a little bit weary. Where are you, mate? Here I am. Eh? Looking Been a little a bit hard, weary. He's Never trust going. a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Let's have a look inside here. So the house is looking really good. It's almost finished. Almost finished. Beautiful, those uh, big windows in the front. Absolutely beautiful. Rob's front entry here. The place is looking really, really good. But unfortunately, Rob's been shafted on the place he was renting. And he's got to live in a construction site now. They have a bathroom and a bedroom, but that's about it. And all their stuff's got to be here in boxes instead of in storage in the place that they were renting that was supposedly until such times as this place was ready for them to move in. The rooms are getting there. This is a spare room. This is the visitor's room, I think. Bathrooms. The bathroom's are really nice. They've done a great job, those guys. Really great job. Absolutely love the stairwell. The stairwell's fantastic. You know, they've got the wrought iron in it, still just got to have the, uh, I think, just got to have the timber put on the top. But it um, looks absolutely beautiful. Beautiful flooring. Back balcony is almost finished completely. A couple of lights to go on. I think another coat of paint. Rob's down there in his entertainment hut. All that stuff down there that he had to bring over today. What a day. <laughs> I swear to God I'd always make myself unavailable if someone needed a hand moving but you know. Had to help Rob out because Rob and Bee have been so good to me since I've been here and really helped me out enormously. Wonderful people. Look at the view out of here. Over there at uh, Monkey Mountain.
Rob won't Rob won't rest. He won't stop. He, he thinks the movers are going to pay him for helping out. <laughs> So it's been a rather long video, I do hope you've enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and uh, please make some comments. I just had to throw all these angles in, I know it's a long video but I just found the symmetry here absolutely beautiful and the light inside was incredible. So until next time, thanks very much for watching, I do appreciate your time and goodbye for now.